Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your MLED Reach receiver as the base for your RTK drone. I'll be using a DJI Matrice 300 and an RS3 for this setup. Before we start, we recommend making sure all your equipment's firmware is up to date. See some of our other tutorials if you need help there. We'll start with configuring our base and MLED flow. We'll select our base output and change it to local entrip. If you select the information button on the side of that selection, it will display the entrip credentials we will need to input into our drone controller. Then we'll hop over to our base settings and configure them adding in our pole height for our base and our method of achieving a base marker, whether that is a manual entry or an averaged out point. I'm just going to average out a single solution over two minutes. If you see the save failed message when saving your credentials, after checking for typos, confirm you have a base marker in the base settings of your reach receiver. You'll not be able to save your credentials without it. Now on our drone controller, let's connect to the base's Wi-Fi. In the RTK section of the settings that we can access in the camera view, we're going to make sure our RTK positioning is toggled on, our RTK service type is set to custom network RTK, then input our entrip credentials that we can view in the MLED Flow app. Once saved, we can scroll further to see our RTK status, satellites, and coordinates. We see our drone has a fix, so we are ready to fly our mission. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.